think the first Strangers movie is one of the best slasher movies ever. The mood of it, the 70s style horror and tension is something that really works fantastically for that movie. And it is so relentless and cold it doesn't really give you any comfort in any scene. And it's just brutal in a more psychological way. It is debatable if it needed a sequel at all because of how the ending is handled and it is a movie that is more effective as a one-off. But it did make 80 million in the box office and surprisingly we had to wait 10 years for a sequel to come out. In the sequel that is called Strangers Pray at Night we get a different kind of movie and it is more of a callback to 80s slasher movies and is much dumber than its predecessor. It goes more to the supernatural styled horror and it is a fun movie but not as good as the 2008 original. Now Lionsgate has announced a whole trilogy that will be coming out within a calendar year and the first movie is called Strangers Chapter 1 which I have now seen and I have to say that I'm very disappointed in this movie but now I will go over the plot and then I will go into detail about what I thought about the movie. The Strangers Chapter 1 is a 2024 American horror film that is the third film in the Strangers film series and the first installment of an intended relaunch in the form of a standalone trilogy. It is directed by Renny Harlan, with a screenplay by Alan R. Cohen and Alan Friedland, from a story by Brian Bertino, the director of the first film. Madeline Pesch and Troy Gutierrez star as a couple who come into contact with the three psychopathic masked strangers while on a road trip. Gabriel Basso and Emma Horvath also star. Plans for a consecutively shot trilogy of Strangers films was announced in August 2022 by the original film's producer, Roy Lee. Harlan was announced as the director of all three the following month, with most of the cast joining soon after. Production on the films took place in Bratislava between September and November that year, often alternating daily between which of the three chapters was being shot. Maya and her boyfriend Ryan drive across the country, celebrating their fifth year anniversary while Maya is looking to get a job in Portland, Oregon. Last, they stop in a small town called Venus and eat a local dinner. The locals disturb them, which escalates further when their car breaks down. The town's mechanic, Rudy, agrees to fix their car the next morning, and they are forced to stay the night in an Airbnb. The girl appears asking if Tamara is here, to which the couple responds no. Ryan goes back into town with a motorcycle to retrieve his inhaler, which he left behind in the car, and to grab food. Alone, Maya plays the piano and takes a shower afterwards, but is unaware of Scarecrow silently stalking her. The power shuts off and Dollface's sudden appearance horrifies her leading her to hide. Ryan returns, comforting her and deeming it a ruse. Both eat, pausing when they notice blood dripping above from a dead chicken hanging on the chandelier. Both are attacked by Scarecrow, who smashes down the front door. Both flee outside to escape with the motorcycle, but it is blown up by Scarecrow. Horrified, both rush back inside, grabbing weapons for defense. Using the home's crawl space, both narrowly avoid being found as Maya accidentally strikes her hand on a nail. Once they make it to the shed, Ryan finds a shotgun and uses it to rescue Maya from another attack. Circling around the porch, Ryan mistakenly shoots the Airbnb owner, killing him, leaving it to be one of the strangers. They grab his car keys and attempt to escape with his vehicle, but get T-boned by Scarecrow driving a truck. Maya runs away into the woods, but Ryan is unable to move as his leg is stuck. After narrowly avoiding discovery from Dollface, Maya calls 911. The call fails due to a lack of service, and during the call Maya comes across a corpse. Horrified, she goes deeper into the woods, but is discovered by Dollface and is knocked out cold. Ryan searches for Maya and holds pinup girl at gunpoint, demanding information about Maya's whereabouts. During the altercation, Scarecrow knocks him out cold. Both wake up tied to chairs in the house. In their last moments, Ryan offers to marry Maya, which he accepts. Ryan is fatally stabbed and his chair is knocked over. 
causing him to choke on his own blood. Maya asks for the motive to which Pinup Girl replies, because you're here. Maya is then stabbed and knocked over as well. Approaching police sirens are heard in the distance and the perpetrators speed away. Maya awakens in a hospital bed, barely surviving the night. Maya slowly rises from the bed and doesn't notice Scarecrow laying next to her. So, like I said in the beginning, I think the first Strangers movie is one of the best in the slasher genre, so seeing them really mess this new reboot up, at least with this first movie, is something I got really disappointed by. First of all, this is a remake and not a prequel as advertised. The movie follows the almost exact same setup as the original movie, just with less likable and interesting characters. In the original, the couple was coming to the boyfriend's dad's cabin after he had planned to propose but she said no and them coming there afterwards after he had planned the whole evening. And the awkwardness of the situation really works well to set up the characters and their relationship. In this new movie, it's just that their car breaks down and they end up in a small town that is not that welcoming. And they get to an Airbnb and then the strangers start to terrorize them. The original movie had some dumb scenes and moments, but they were far and few between. I rewatched it recently and there is basically two moments in the movie where you feel the characters are dumb. In this new movie, there are a ton of bad decisions that the characters make that you get angry about. Add to that that these two characters are much less well written when it comes to dialogue and arcs. The performances are good from Madeleine Pesch, but not that great from Froy Gutierrez. His performance just feels like he's reading lines. There's much less tension connected to them surviving the movie. Also, the only thing that is new that they add is a weird small town that is angry at this young couple for some reason. So when it's so very obvious like that, you do immediately think that the strangers are some of the townspeople because the movie really aims at them being the strangers, or at least three of them, and that the rest of the town is helping the three strangers. Not everything is bad, there are some scenes with tension here and there, and the cinematography overall does look good. Also Madeline Pesch has a good performance in this movie. But overall this movie was a very big disappointment. There is nothing new in this movie, and what is new is not at all interesting. But I will see the sequel just to see how this turns out, and what will play out during the rest of this trilogy. Hopefully they give us something worthwhile, but with this first chapter they really disappointed me, because to me it just feels lazy and uninspired to just do a remake of the first movie, but with much less creativity in the writing and the overall execution. These characters don't feel like real characters, and there are whole scenes that don't get any setup and logic behind them. You are just supposed to accept what happens, and sure, you can argue that it's a movie, but I'm not really talking about that it has to feel like the real world and be ultra realistic, but it has to make sense for the story you have set up. If you set up that objects can appear magically so that you can get out of a situation because the world is magical, then it works, but if your film is set up in a more grounded world, then you have to write the scenes in a more logical way. You have to set up rules in the fictional world you are creating, otherwise the stakes are lost. I will still see the sequel, but with what they have introduced in this first chapter, my expectations are not that high. I'm giving this movie a 4 out of 10. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. This has been Boogeyman Cinema. Thank you for watching. What did you think of Strangers Chapter 1? Please let me know in the comments.